After Jesus was tempted by the devil in the wilderness, in Luke chapter 4, Jesus returned to Galilee, filled with the Holy Spirit's power. Reports about him spread quickly through the whole region. He taught regularly in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to the village of Nazareth, his boyhood home, he went as usual to the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read the scriptures. The scroll of Isaiah, the prophet, was handed to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where this was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. In this prophecy, Jesus announced that he came to heal the damage brought by sin. And here's how he did it. First, he came to preach the gospel to the poor. Sin robs us, but the Messiah restores good things to the poor. Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. Sin breaks our hearts, but the Messiah has good news for those with broken hearts. Jesus proclaims liberty to the captives. Sin makes us captive and enslaves us, but the Messiah comes to set us free. Jesus recovers sight to the blind. Sin blinds us, but the Messiah comes to heal our spiritual and moral blindness. Jesus comes to set at liberty those who are oppressed. See, sin oppresses, but the Messiah comes to bring freedom from oppression. So let me encourage you today to be thankful for all that Jesus came to do and in actuality has already done for you and I. And remember, Jesus didn't just come to preach deliverance or even to bring deliverance, but Jesus came to be deliverance for us. Thank you.